Welcome to Madden NFL 24. Everything you need to know about the official Madden NFL 24 reveal. This is a gridiron notes. Uh, this is going to have a bunch of the gameplay stuff. Uh, what their kind of like main focuses are. That's like the back of box. Like big focuses for the game. Uh, we're going to be talking about all of this stuff that they're doing. Uh, franchise, ultimate team stuff they've released. Uh, some new game modes they've released. We're going to talk about everything here. I want to tell you guys uh, that I will have beta codes to give away. I will be giving them away over on my Twitter my Instagram. Those, those are linked in... Uh, in the description of this video. Uh, the easiest way to find out, just go to my Twitter, follow me. If you want to turn notifications on, that'll help you make sure you don't miss the tweet. I will have beta codes to be able to give away uh, to you guys. I'm going to be doing giveaways over there. Again, uh, my Twitter, top of the description. Uh, make sure you guys go over there if you want a beta code uh, or you want to enter a giveaway to possibly get a uh, beta code. Someone will or a, a lot of people will. Nonetheless, here we go. Um, gameplay. Very first note is gameplay. Uh, field sense, increased control and realism. Uh, they they really make a big point in, throughout this is that they're only doing next gen stuff. PC is going to next gen, uh, which is nice. Um, really, I think old gen. If you're on the old versions of the game on uh, on Xbox uh, One or whatever, old gen, pretty much same game. All right, let's get out of the way. Uh, yeah, so they're saying you know more greater control, realism, all that stuff. They always say that. Hit everything 2.0. Uh, they add a bunch of new tackle animations, new contested catch animations, um, and they really seem to have focused on both in this, in the uh, reveal trailer, and then of creators who I've talked to and people who have actually had their hands on the game, uh, they really seem to have tried to focus on fluid tackles, uh, you know, fluid, really, lot, 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 I guess the game moving smoother, right? This is the fourth game on Next Gen. And this should be their best version of it in terms of just how the game feels. You know, not being clunky. When we first got Next Gen, very, very clunky. I expect this to be a lot smoother just because, I mean, every year they get better. They should get better and better. So I can see that being 100% of the case. And I know for a fact there's a ton of new animations. And they also talk about wrap and scoop tackles, uh, which are, I believe, can both be animated with the same button whether it's a or x or whatever but sometimes your player will wrap and sometimes your player will scoop etc etc um skill based passing 2.0 dive for a winning one-hander or uh, with improved catching ai thread the needle with surgical accuracy using new throw animations and anticipate more authentic defensive reactions with enhanced db behavior introduced in skill based passing uh something that i was told that they really focused on uh, in terms of defensive pass coverage was see ball play ball uh, a lot of times it felt like um, it was your players would be stuck in mud on defense, even if the ball was thrown right at them when they were sitting in zones. Uh, focus for them was to not have that happen anymore. Obviously, will that happen? It could. It obviously could. Um, but that does seem to be a focus for them, which is very important, right? I'm very happy to see that. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, all this new throw animation, stuff like that, it's whatever. I expect free-forming and all that stuff to be better this year, to have less bugs, to have less of those overthrows we'd see a lot of, and to have less of the ball hitting you in the face and just falling to the ground. I, I really predict that we'll have less of that. I, I have to assume so. Um, foundational football, next kind of category topic. AI enhancement. Uh, smart AI is smoother, more realistic player action. Um, and this is really a lot of stuff for like offline players. So a lot of you guys watching this channel aren't necessarily those people, but some of you are. Um, Eric Rayweather really made a strong focus on post-play and emotion enhancements uh, that it actually made the game feel a lot smoother. And that's something that you'll see a lot in just head-to-head -head as well. Um, you, know, you can celebrate after like first downs and shit like that, I believe. Um, but yeah, QB awareness, behavior, ball care, AI, blocking AI. This is a big one that they focused on. That I think we're going to see a pretty big, de uh, pretty big deal in um, really the run game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the run game take a notable step up in terms of just how, of them engaging with people downfield. Um, I would not be surprised at all. The gameplay deep dive. I don't know when this is, but you know we'll get a gameplay deep dive at some point apparently. And then you know DB awareness and pass coverage. They want to make a step forward in that, which is obviously a really really nice thing. Uh, Sapien technology is what they're calling this. Uh, Elite forward and character technology introduces new and and anatomically anatomically act i mean dude come like we are fucking gamers bro we are literally like there's a, a 13 year old kid reading this i'm 22 and i anatomically accurate nfl skeletons uh, just say you made the more response like just this this 
made people who are more responsible represent true to life player motion. Again, kind of going into the idea that it's going to be smoother, that it's going to be less clunky, whatever, whatever, which is awesome. Crossplay is only for online head to head and um yeah, so only for playing people head to head online whether it's regs or mutt, not CFM, not auction houses either, okay? Um and you can also turn it off. They talk about another place you could turn crossplay off if you want to. Awesome, right? Very happy about that. Right now, crossplay only adds benefits to the game. There is nothing wrong with it because if it doesn't work, you just turn it off, right? There will be different leaderboards for crossplay too, I've read. Uh, that uh, Xbox will have a leaderboard, PlayStation will have a leaderboard, and then crossplay gamers will have their own leaderboard as well. So that'll be nice too. The return of Superstar, Superstar of the League. Uh, this is essentially a face of franchise, I believe. It's going to be... I honestly don't know. This is another version of Face of Franchise. Hopefully, it works a lot better. It's a little bit more fun. Uh, hopefully, they make it you know, a little bit more like Road to uh, road to the Show or Road to Glory and whatnot. Um, that's what I'm really hoping for here. Uh, Superstar Showdown. This is replacing the Yard. This is uh, The Yard used to be like six on six, and you could have three users, three AI. This is like the Yard, except it's three on three, right? This seems like it could be fun. Um, I'm, I'm for it, right? I'm super for it. Why not? Why not give it a try? Uh, I I think getting rid of the yard and face of franchise and replacing them with hopefully things that are better uh, is what these seem like they could be is only a positive, right? It's only a positive. Franchise lead your legacy. Um, yeah, they they honestly they added these mini games back in uh, from years ago, right? From like Madden 07, 08, they had these mini games, and you don't have to be in a franchise to play them. You could play them in just regular uh, in the main menu. Awesome. I think they're going to be super fun. I'm super excited for them. I think I'm going to really, really, really enjoy them. And I play, I remember playing them when I was like seven, eight years old. Really fun. I think you guys are going to like them too. Um, I, I really, really, really do. And yeah, they added a bunch of like new team uh, relocation, all this stuff, right? Free agency. You can restructure contracts. I also saw you could have six trade slots. So if you're a CFM guy, seems like uh, they're, they're working towards making that better. Obviously, you know, it goes to crap if, uh, whatchamacallit, um, it goes to crap if, if you know, you lose your franchise like you did this year. Obviously, this is the most bare bones, What just what they're focused on. This doesn't mean AI, you know, pass logic is going to be great. doesn't mean defense is going to be good. It's just things that they're focused on is what we're able to take away with, right? Beta is coming out on the 8th. Again, I'm going to have giveaways over on my Twitter linked in the top of the description. Go drop me a follow and then hit the notification bell so you get notified. I will be doing giveaways and giving away as many as I can. I'm going to try my hardest to get as many codes as I can to be able to give away. I want you guys to be able to play, and obviously I want to give it to my community. So if you're watching this, you're part of my community. I want to say thank you for being a part of it, watching my videos, all that good stuff, right? So make sure, like, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. All right, boys, this is pretty cool. I'm very excited. So far, day one, in terms of pre-launch, in terms of pre-launch, day one, EA's done everything right so far. They've n nothing wrong so far, which is all, right? That's all we can ask for, right? If you're already pessimistic, you just don't really, like, stop. 